Hello, it's 9 p.m. in Art. This time to English musician for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have. The statement by the Minister of uh, Interior on the opening of the campaign. For the international scene, uh, war rages in Ukraine on the second day of the Russian invasion. Welcome to our newsroom. The Minister of Interior, Said uh, Nur Hassan, made a statement. He said, uh, indeed, uh, in accordance uh, with the taxes in force, uh, the various, uh, uh, the various uh, candidates uh, to the elections have met all the conditions uh, and their applications have been duly registered. Uh, three lists uh, will compete in these uh, elections, namely the Union for the Presidential Majority, as well as uh, two lists from the civil society, namely Wadani Asajog and Development and Justice. Uh, furthermore, the members of the regional uh, and independent electoral commissions have been sworn in and installed in their premises. Uh, the electoral campaign will begin in a few hours, namely this Saturday, February 26, 2022, at zero hours, and will end on Thursday, March 10, uh, 2022, at zero hours. Uh, the population is uh, reminded that, that voters will use their last cards from the last elections. Uh, for those who have lost their uh, voting cards, uh, it's important to conduct their usual uh, polling stations. Uh, I would like to inform the population that these elections will be a major challenge. Uh, during these elections, we will be electing a person who will uh, be responsible for the day for the day-to-day -day, uh, management of our year, of your neighborhoods uh, by participating in cleanliness. Uh, uh, security and uh, by bringing you as uh, close as possible to the administration and I would like also to urge the population to campaign without disturbing public orders and to be wise on election day. The Minister of Interior uh, received yesterday the members of the newly elected the Independent Regional Electoral Commission recently appointed to supervise the electoral process in accordance with the presidential decree. The mission is of the Independent uh, Regional Electoral Commission is uh, to supervise and control with the impartiality the regional and communal uh, electoral operations before uh, during and after a schedule in March, uh, Mr. Bahnan Ali Medal was elected the president of this uh, independent regional electoral commission. The commission's officials uh, have been elected in each region to supervise uh, the regional and communal elections, including the campaign, as the Minister of the Interior has just announced that there are only a few hours and left uh, before the start of the electoral campaign for the regional and communal elections to be held in Djibouti. This marathon of two few weeks uh, will last from tomorrow to uh, 20, this, the 26th of this month uh, until uh, midnight on March 10. After a week uh, of uh, intense activity organized within the framework of the National Week of the Artists and Mother Tongues, uh, the Minister of Youth and Culture celebrated yesterday evening the International Mother Language Day. In addition to the Minister of Youth uh, and Culture, Hibo uh, Momin Asobe, the event was attended by the Ambassador of Japan to Djibouti, his Excellency Koji Yonetani, the mayor of the Djibouti city, Fatuma Awale Osman, and many other personalities after a rich campaign uh, program of uh, cultural, uh, cultural uh, creations composed of songs and uh, sketch, skillfully orchestrated by our authors and leading artists, uh, folk dances. Uh, the key moment was uh, the rewarding of the young laureate uh, to the uh, general culture's poetry and uh, photography competitions. Uh, in his uh, closing speech, the Dean of the Artists emphasized the importance of uh, uh, preserving the mother tongue.
As for the Minister of uh, Just uh, for uh, Culture, uh, Hiba Momin Asove, she warmly thanked uh, the partners, the actors, uh, the associations, the head of the CDC, the sponsors, and uh, all the people who contributed to the realizations and success of the week's activity. Finally, the minister reserved for her last thanks for the organizing committee of the Ministry of Youth and Culture, the coordinator and the head of the commission who wished to supervise two members uh, who have the particularly distinguished themselves for their uh, selflessness uh, and involvement. It is a huge uh, blow for all the supporters of the DAFO teams. This afternoon in Tejera as part of the finals of the first edition of the interlocal tournament, uh, Adailus team won 2-0 against its opponents of uh, the uh, DAFO. Everything uh, was uh, uh, playing in the first half. Uh, the Adailus team dominated the first half and went into the break uh, with a two goal advantages reflecting their superiority after the break. Uh, Dafo came back uh, with their better intentions and scored that the first opportunity these goals brought the start back to life and Adventist teams began the treating deep uh, in the rival zone despite uh, their domination and especially their late revivals that for logically ended up losing at the end of the match the winners and the losers uh, were uh, called to the podium to receive uh, their trophy from the officials uh, with this victory the villages of Adailu registered a second title in a row after uh, the one won by the U17s uh, in the championship a few weeks ago. In addition to the Secretary of State in charge of sports, His Excellency Hassan Mohammed Kamil, the ceremony was attended by the Deputy Prefect of the Region, Habib Jilani, the President of the Regional Council, uh, Omar Hussein Omar, the Regional Deputy Directors of the State Secretary for Sports, Madina Dimbio, the Director of the State uh, Region, uh, Yusuf Abdallah, the President of the Regional League of Tejora, Said Buha as well as several other officials and members of the State Secretary for Sports. For his part, the Secretary of State for Sports, Hassan Mohammed Kamil, indicated uh, in his uh, intervention that we are at the end of the locality tournament, uh, which was organized by the sports sections of Tajora, which represents the Department of Sports, where at the final, the mythic villages of Adailu and the newborn locality of Dafo. What I heard that Dafo is the last village which was born in Tajura, but uh, nevertheless they are at the finalists. Uh, this tournament will not take place without the active participation of the director of the region of Tajura, who was supported uh, by the president of the Football League of uh, Tajura. The National Agency for Persons with Disability in collaboration with the Center for Technology and Innovation for Development, CTD, is organizing a ceremony to award the certificate of the first promotion of the Horn Digital Academy at the headquarters of the Networks and Persons with Disability. This program aims to enable young people with selected special needs to boost their skills in order to become uh, entrepreneurs operating in the digital economy sector. The objectives of this training is to improve the quality of the life of people with disabilities, strengthen access to the livelihoods for people with disability, build capacity in new technologies, employability and entrepreneurship for people with disability. Indeed, this is the first promotion of the young people with disability in the file of Horn Digital Academy in training. The Regional Council of uh, Obok hosted a two-day workshop of the Regional Development Coordination Committee from 24 to February 2021 on the elaborations of the Regional Development Plan. 
This workshop was attended by the Deputy Prefect Ali Mohamed Maki, the Vice President of the Regional Council, Ahmed Mohamed Ali, the Secretary General of the Regional Council, Omar Hassan Mohamed, the representative of the Ministry of Decentralization, local elected officials, the elders, and uh, the officials of the Deconcentrated Technical Services and Civil Society, as well as uh, the French expertise. Uh, uh, during these two days of the workshop, the team in charge of the elaboration of the RDP, notably the Secretary General of the Regional Councils and his staff, the National Consultant and the French expert, uh, presented to the participant of the approaches the grievance expressed by the population during the participatory diagnosis and the financial capacity of the Regional Council. For the international scene, helicopter fires, uh, tanks uh, and the children, the first images of the Russian invasion is of Ukraine, fire exchanges held in Kyiv on the second day of the invasion, the war rages on the in, on, in Ukraine on the second day of the Russian invasion, is this uh, Friday morning, this special military operation was announced on Wednesday night by President Vladimir Putin in response to Western countries have imposed devastating sanctions on the Kremlin, according to the US President Joe Biden. Ukrainian president declares general mobilizations in Ukraine. Explosions were heard in Kyiv on Friday morning. The death toll on the Ukrainian side, both civilians and military, at least 137 deaths and 300 uh, 316 uh, injured uh, Russian materials losses were estimated by the Ukrainian armies at more than uh, 13 tanks, at least 113 armored combat vehicles, seven planes and six helicopters fighting is underway in the northern districts of the city of Kyiv as Russian armed forces uh, appear to be tightening their grip on the Ukrainian capital. Russian invasion of Ukraine, uh, European Union ready to welcome Ukrainian refugee. European Commission's President Ursula von der Leyen said on Thursday that the European Union was fully prepared to receive Ukrainian fleeing of a Russian offensive, adding that were, well, they were welcome. The European Union is uh, fully prepared to receive Ukrainian refugee fleeing the Russian offensive. They are welcome, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said on Thursday, with all the member states on the front lines, we now have a clearly defined contingency plan to receive and accommodate refugees from Ukraine immediately, said the head of the EU uh, ex executive. So we hope that, that there will be as a few refugees as possible, but we are fully prepared to receive them and they are Welcome, she added. She said that the EU was provided humanitarian support to Ukraine to meet the needs of uh, internally displaced people. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have uh, a good evening.